Well, you guys, today we're going to take a look at how to find and install missing Windows drivers the easy way. Now, this is a very common problem when you go into Device Manager. You can sometimes see uh, yellow exclamation marks or yellow triangles to say that the uh, driver is missing and it can't find it. So this is a way that you can diagnose this and try to fix it and find the drivers possible. Now, sometimes Windows does a pretty good job on it nowadays. Let's right click on it and go update driver and search automatically and see whether it can find it online. Now most of the time Windows does a pretty good job and installs the drivers but on occasion you may get some drivers that it can't find and you need to have the CD available or the driver uh, CD which comes with the laptop or desktop. You can see it's unable to find this driver which can be quite frustrating for an average user. So I want to make this video to show you how you can go about trying to find your drivers and the which way to do it the easy way. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at how we can go about doing this. Now when you do a search online basically uh, you'll find the make and model number of your laptop and this one is called Chewy. It's a Chinese uh, laptop or lap book and uh, basically when you format Windows if you haven't got an internet connection, it actually misses a lot of drivers. So after you've done your fresh install, what you're going to need to do is get all the drivers for that particular laptop. Now, if you've lost the driver CD or the information for that laptop, you need to search for the make and model number of that laptop and go to the manufacturer's website. In this case, it's Chewy and well, they've got theirs on the forum. You can see up the top there, there's a bunch of little links which you can click on for all the products that they have. So you can see they've got the lap book right here. So I'm going to click on this one. And what you would need to do is search for the make and model number of that lap book. And then once you get that um, make and model number, you can then download the drivers. Now the drivers are about one gigabyte in size. So they're a fair old size and you need to download the right versions. Otherwise they won't work. So this is a little bit more difficult than the standard uh, Toshiba, HP, Dell and stuff like that. These are a little bit more difficult to install. So if you are buying any of these sort of Chinese products, just bear that in mind. You can see here it's listed on a forum and the average user might not be able to find it that easy. So that is one way of finding your uh, laptop drivers and I'll show you another way. So what you want to do here, these are the laptop drivers I've downloaded. And if you haven't got these to hand, now sometimes in really bad circumstances, the network driver doesn't work and it's not installed. And that means you won't be able to go on the internet at all. And they were the sad old days of XP and Windows 7. And it used to really leave a lot of uh, people scuppered without any sort of internet connection. And this was pretty uh, common. And uh, nowadays, Windows 10 does have quite a big, large um, uh, driver database. So you can see here the make and model number and is all the drivers for this particular laptop. And you'd need to go through and install all of these to make the audio and if everything else work correctly in here. Now these are from the official website and that's what I'd advise you to do is make sure you download all the official drivers from the official website whenever possible because there could be some malicious uh, drivers out there on the internet. Um, so steer clear from those stupid um, driver update software like um, a boot driver booster and all this sort of nonsense. Now if you go to the system information this will be whether you can get the system model number of your laptop. You can see it's called Chewy NA123 and uh, that is the maker model number of this uh, particular laptop. You can also get it on the laptop itself. It will normally give you the maker model number on there and the serial number and you can normally find it via that method uh, if it was a Dell or Toshiba or HP or any of those types of laptops. And when you do a search for that particular make and model number, you can see it takes you straight back to that page, which we was just on there. And that's pretty much how you can find uh, the drivers from there. So what I'm going to do is show you another way of uh, looking for drivers, uh, especially typical, uh, difficult to find drivers. Now, sometimes Sony and uh, manufacturers like these will make drivers obsolete and you have to be forced to buy the driver CD off of them if you ever lose the CD and this is common uh, for these sort of manufacturers like uh, HP and Sony. So when you go into the driver tab here and uh, you look for uh, the driver details 
what you can do is then go into the device description here which is your property here and then look for hardware ID and normally this will give you the information that you need this is the hardware ID of that piece of hardware which will then help you detect uh, the actual driver itself online if you can't find it so let's have a look you can see there's three of them here and what you want to do is copy these and you can use the uh, control C to copy that actual uh, hardware ID there so just push control C to copy it then open up your browser and then do a search for that particular type of hardware ID here so let me do a quick search here I'm going to paste it in there by pushing control V and then we can hit the search button to search for this particular driver for this piece of hardware here so let's go ahead and do a search here and see what it comes up with now what you want to be careful of is not to uh, download any sort of drivers from dodgy sites because this is when you can get infected so when you do a search here you need to know what you're looking for and you can see it's coming up with a lot of driver uh, sites exactly where we can get the driver from um, so driver packs is one of these now driver packs are pretty uh, big massive database of drivers which you can get online you can download the driver from here and you can also install their software the problem is uh, the antivirus will start to flag a lot of this software and the reason for that is because it's classed as open candy it's got other software embedded into it which it wants to install and this is un unwanted software so basically it's uh, software that you might not need so this is how they can make this for free so once you download this this is if you're really in a tight jam you can normally use something like driver packs to uh, get the uh, driver that you need but normally you won't need to use this method in 2019 and you can generally find it pretty simply online by doing the right types of searches so let's go into expert mode here and have a look and see what we found so you can see it has detected a lot of drivers here now the problem is with these particular types of sites when you go here you've got no idea of where these drivers are coming from and who is the creator of this particular type of software and this is where you've got to be careful when you're using these types of uh, sites or software online so unless you can be 100% sure that these are safe to use then you best to probably leave them well alone and find a driver elsewhere from the source which will be from the maker or manufacturer maker of that uh, laptop now this was an old uh, site that used to be pretty popular back in the day which was called driver packs and you've probably seen me make videos on it many years ago and this was like XP and 2000 and uh, Windows 7 days now the drivers pack solution will offer uh, other options which is like driver search and also uh, the driver pack cloud and you can normally uh, install and do the driver pack cloud now let's do a search on the system and see what it finds you can see here it wants to start offering uh, to install other types of software which I never asked for which is browsers and stuff like that now it may be a small uh, issue to have where you can refuse to install this and it wants to now install Avast as well and this open candy sort of software is pretty popular on the internet I'll just speed this up and uh, reboot and let's just see whether it actually fixes or resolves the problem and this is pretty common so I've now rebooted the system and you can see here the driver installation has now been completed and the problem a lot of people will run into is the driver has not been installed correctly or it's the wrong type of driver and you can see it's not installed the driver for this particular type of uh, multimedia audio controller so that process was pointless and this is what can happen and now you've got a bunch of other software that's been installed like Oprah, um, Avast and other software if you haven't took the tick out of those boxes so let's go ahead and show you the proper way of installing these drivers by getting the official drivers from the uh, source which is the manufacturer what you want to do is get your drivers downloaded and then you want to go to update driver and then browse this computer for your driver and then hit the browse button to search the location of the driver I've got it on the desktop here and I'm going to choose the folder which is unzipped on my uh, actual desktop here and click next it will then start to install the driver correctly 
and you can now see that the smart sound technology which is your Intel SST driver has been installed which is the audio controller. Now once you've installed this you may also see another uh, driver pop up in the device manager area which is now the Intel high definition audio because it's now got the critical uh, controller installed it now needs to have the driver for that audio to be installed as well. So what we need to do now is get the audio driver which I've already downloaded and I've got it onto my desktop here and it's the Intel high definition audio and I'll just show you this one as well. So just basically right click on these, click on update driver and we want to browse my computer uh, for that driver and then you can search for the driver by clicking browse and then to go to the location where that driver is. In my case it's on the desktop and we can now click OK. Include subfolders and let it do a search for the drivers inside that folder. It will search all the folders inside there. There might be uh, numerous different folders inside there and it will search for the correct driver in there and then install it onto your system as it's doing right now. And this is probably the best way to get drivers. So do a search whether you're using the hardware ID or whether you're using uh, the website for the actual uh, laptop that you've got, the model and serial number of that uh, particular laptop and install your drivers this way. Don't start downloading loads of silly software off the internet. These generally get installed on the system, search your PC and say it's found drivers and it will only allow you to download one at a time and sometimes these are the wrong types of drivers. And as you can see here now that's uh, installed the Realtek High Definition Audio SST driver. And there we go, we've got it working. I can do the other one as well, but I'm not going to waste your time showing you that. That's the basic principle of uh, installing those drivers. It's very simple and easy to do. So steer clear of those uh, sites on the internet that claim they can detect all the drivers that are missing on your system and install them. They are no good for you. This is the way to do it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.